study is going to show. And once again, we're talking about a study. We're not talking about one ounce of dirt being moved without city council approval. We are talking about simply a study. Government money, is that what we're talking about? Well, I don't know if you government money. Uh, I just know that the companies that we're talking to said they'll be responsible for raising the money to do this. And they wouldn't expose their sources to us because that's their proprietary information. That's how they do their business. You know, but they are, they're telling us that it will come from them. I just wonder if anybody knows we're $14 trillion in the day. And we talk about using the government. Uh, if we don't do it, somebody else will use it. When is we, as responsible American people, say, hey, let's shut her down? I'll plug you, son. I'll plug you. Well, I, think our, I think our Congress is already saying it about some issues. But the bottom line is that there are definite, definite needs. Well, unless if the government shuts down all of its money right now and we have a flooding problem, we'll it never get it fixed. addressed. So we need them to not totally shut it down because we have a problem down here. When your house floods, the insurance company is going to pay for it. So we got to figure ways out to get out of the hole so we don't have this problem again. That's what you keep saying. I don't want to flood again. We don't want you to flood again. But this well, study will help us. The best thing is you don't do something that makes it worse. And that's what the feasibility and study will show. Will do. The feasibility study. There is work. no way you can build the lake the without raising the water level. Now that that is facts, and I think everybody in this place knows that. You have to impound water to have a lake. Is that right, Mayor? Excuse me. You have to impound this water to have a lake. That's true. And once it's impounded, that's that raises the water level up. And our water won't get off as quickly, and it's more apt to flood. And that's just like night follows night. Right, the study will you ask the, the, the question. Uh, so you do you have to impound it? You do have to impound it. Sure. And, and you, you raise the, le the water level up so that the lake will maintain a certain uh, level of water. But once the water reaches that level, uh, the level of the easement, I mean the... Uh, uh, well, we call it a dam, but uh, but once it reached that level, the, the the water flows, you know, from that point on. But now I don't. I'm not an engineer. I don't. I don't know about it. The only thing that we're trying to do, we're trying to get people that do know, to send us a report back as to what would be the effects of it. That's all. For late. Now up at Dale High, they went out there. They. the Macon Ridge, they built a levee around it on three sides and built a nice lake, and that's wonderful. I wish we had a situation where we could do that. But what we're working with is Turkey Creek. We don't know that. We only want to get a study that will show whether it will work or it will not. And once again, we're not just talking about a lake. We're talking about a, we're talking about a, 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 a first-class golf course. We're talking about the creation of, of, of hunting areas for ga for gamesmen. We're talking about we're talking about all of those different things. So, excuse me, sir. I didn't interrupt you when you were talking. Yes, sir. Uh, we're talking about all those different things. So there's more to it than just a lake. And 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 some people brought up some things in in, uh, in other areas. Well, quite frankly, Poverty Point is doing very well. Uh, I, I, I pass by Lake Bulo and, and, and Pineville all the time. Pineville's booming. I mean, it, it's you can build something, but it, it depends on what you do with it once you build it. And if, if it's done well, and if it's done properly, they've never had a flooding issue with, with Lake Bulo. I mean, and, 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 and I lived there for a while. I was, I, you know, I, I worked Gustav. And, and the other areas where there was no water around, in Alexandria and Pineville went underwater. But that area over there by Lake Bulow and, and the Red River did not. So what I'm saying is when things are done properly, when, 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 when proper studies and proper precautions are taken, those areas become some of the safest areas to live in around. I've seen that. And it looks almost like a natural lake to me. So the, the elevations of... Lake Beulah and the surrounding area is quite different. That's 
that's pretty much in the hill area. Lady Fulo was, was man-made. It is man-made. Well, it man-made. Yeah, but and, what I'm and, saying is the adjoining land. Land's higher down there. This land is... Not, not in Rogue Gully. It's not. Now, there's the area over there. There's the area on the side where Central State Hospital is. That area is high. But now over in Rogue Gully, where a lot of people live, that's a low-lying land. And so uh, that area does not flood. Those issues are, have, have been dealt with over there. And, and they work tirelessly to make sure not only that, Lake Bulow has been so successful that the city of Pineville uh, is, is now expanding things in, in that area. And I'm not talking about just on the part, the part where they're, where they're redoing the uh, Civil War part. I'm talking about on the other side, on the Rogue Gully side, that's, that's low-lying right there by the Red River. Not a place is flood when the rains come. And that's it. Yeah, you're right. And that's and that is a, you that know, is a they're talking now of going back and spending millions to make that causeway in there to where it'll handle more water. So I, I don't see how you're going to impound water and not raise our water yeah. level behind these big rains. And one of the reasons why they have to spend millions of dollars is because people chose to build their homes around the natural lake. It's kind of like people building houses on the beach and then a hurricane hits and they don't expect it to flood and they don't expect their houses to get knocked down or anything like that, if you build it there, you're going to have to deal with the, you're going to have to deal with the consequences of building it there. So building a house on Lake Darbonne, it, it's a nice looking house, it's a beautiful place. You know, I, I love Lake Darbonne, but the bottom line is if I chose to build a house there, those, those are some, there's, some con- there's some potential consequences that I'm going to have to deal with if I choose to build a, build a house on Lake Darbonne. The good thing about a, a man-made lake is this, from the, from the, from the very onset, studies are done to make sure certain things don't happen and, and, and things are prepared to deal with those issues. And if, and if they're done properly, and that's what the feasibility study will show, is it feasible? Can it be done? What will, what will the cost uh, be? What will the economic impact be? What will the environmental impact be? What will the economic impact be for Winsboro and the surrounding communities? What will do? They'll go and ask you, do you want it? Uh, uh, if, if you don't, and you say no? Well, hey, I mean that—that's—that's that's part of that's part of what what they're going to come back and tell people. All we're talking about is a simple study. I mean, to find out is it feasible? For all we know, this could this could change the very course of Winsboro. This could really be something very special to make the citizens of Winsboro very proud of their community. But we need to find out. We need to see. That's all we're saying. You know, I I, I look around at places like Vidalia and places like that. They're booming. Why? Because they're looking into things. They're checking things out. They're, they're, they're researching things. One of the things that, I, that uh, I was told today by several citizens from Vidalia is we have a very aggressive mayor. He goes, Mayor Copeland goes after him. And that's the thing. There's nothing wrong with taking a look. Nothing whatsoever. You know, I'm going to say this too. Hold on. Let me say this. Years ago, if somebody had a told the Wright brothers that a bicycle with wings and an engine wouldn't fly, we'd still be riding around uh, to where we had to go. When they turned around and they, and they began construction of, of the highways, if someone had told President Eisenhower that, uh, that you can't do that, we wouldn't have the highway system that we have today.